Before we get into this video, I want to take a second to announce that I am going to be doing another giveaway. And this time I've teamed up with Rogers Sporting Goods and I'm going to be giving away a pair of these Rogers Elite 2-in-1 breathable waders. I, I wore these for the first time this weekend doing this teal hunt and I absolutely love these things. I love these better than the Tough Mans that I've been saying I love for years and years. So if you guys want to win a pair of these waders, you get to pick whatever camo pattern you want. If you guys are wanting to enter in the giveaway, there's a link in the description. So be sure to click that link and enter to win a new pair of waders. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's finally here. Teal season opens tomorrow and I'm spending the afternoon scouting, got the campsite all set up and uh, I'm gonna be hunting here for a couple of days. I'm at a place that is completely new to me. So I decided to do something a little different this year and explore a different area that I know other people have had success at with teal hunting. So we're trying that out and I wanna let you guys know that um, Onyx is now a partner for the channel and I've been using their app all day long while I'm scouting. And one of my favorite features that I use on it is the drop a pin feature. I like using the drop a pin feature because it allows me to mark places where I've seen birds and I find that really useful. And then I also, before I left home, I downloaded the map to my phone just in case I didn't have service out here, I could use it. But things are looking mediocre at best for tomorrow. I mean, I've got high hopes. I think we're gonna see some teal. I've seen good numbers of teal but I think we had a lot of teal push out of the area over the past few days with this cold front. So I'll keep on scouting here and hopefully find some birds and find a good spot to hunt tomorrow. We got the kayak, we got a bunch of decoys. I mean, we're, we're ready to rock and roll, but um, just got to find the birds and find the place to set up. And we're going to have Elliot from Freelance Duck Hunting hanging out with me this weekend. And he's going to kind of show me around the area. He's pretty familiar with this place. So I'm excited. We're going to get to camp out and just have a ball this weekend and hopefully shoot a few birds. I did find a good dove field. So if teal hunting's crap in the morning, maybe we'll go shoot a few doves. But I don't know. We'll keep scouting. It's uh, 2.45 in the afternoon, so I think a lot of stuff's tucked back up, up in the cover and I can't see it. So fingers crossed. Hopefully we can find them. There we go. Those are mallards. We just scouted out a spot that looks pretty promising. Over here with loaded with Elliot, fumbles you and wanna, you don't want to go down that way. Gary Beard. It's all Golden Boy. So things look pretty good. It's but it looks a lot better than what I saw earlier today with um, just driving around and glass and you really have to get up in there because those teal, they're like hunkered down in really thick cover right now and it makes it difficult because like all the open pools we've looked at they're not really holding a lot of birds it seems like they're all hunkered up in the grass and cattails and so finally got a good look at them and there's a decent number well good morning it is the opening day of teal season and it's time to put our waders on we got to get everything loaded up and hit the marsh it's about 2 30 in the morning good morning fellas morning we got our spot i think i think we're good to go really i think so we've got a little bit of a hike in today um i might honestly i think i'm gonna leave a dozen decoys at the truck and just take a dozen teal and then my motion ducks just to get some riffles on the water so uh got three spinners so i'll bring a dozen and you know a dozen and a half decoys and i think that should do the job elliot and all them we're going to be hunting, and then I'm going to go off by myself into a different spot. We're going to go solo today and see what we can do. But it's time to get to the spot and get everything set up. Well, we made it to our spot, and uh, I'm going to be setting up about 100 yards down from Elliot and his crew. So this will be kind of an interesting hunt because I'll get to watch them and see what they're up to. And they'll get to watch me and see what I'm up to. So hoping for the best today. I've got pretty high hopes with the number of teal we saw in this little area last night. I think we'll do pretty well. But get to try out all, all kinds of new gear today. Got the uh, new marsh seat. So I've never used one of these before and I'm kind of excited to try it out. And uh, 
I'll show you guys where I'm going to set up here in a minute, but I got to get everything kind of situated and get the decoys set and be teal hunting, man. It feels great to be out here again. I really, 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 really love these moments where you're just kind of sitting in the marsh before everything gets wild and it's a blast. So just got to get everything organized and be ready to rock and roll. Might have a couple sips of coffee, but hopefully we can shoot a couple tealy birds today. We've got about 15 minutes until shooting time and uh, everything's set up, ready to go. I'm gonna go uh, have a seat on my new marsh stool. I'm gonna be hiding behind like this little bush. You guys will see it in a little bit. But um, I think a bird just landed in the spread. I'm excited. I think this is gonna play out really good. We got Elliot and his crew down there about 75 to 100 yards away and um, it's gonna be curious. I'm kind of curious to see how things are gonna go because um, they're in like this thick marshy stuff and I'm kind of out in like an open pool. So I'm interested to see how this is gonna play out and where the birds are gonna go between like the open water or back in the thick marshy stuff. So <sighs> feels good to be back. Feels really good. I missed the smell of the marsh mud. I missed the cool weather. I'm excited. Let's go shoot some teal. There's so many teal buzzing around right now. This is awesome. There's a teal five yards away from me. Oh my gosh. Ooh, they got one. I'm gonna wait to shoot so you guys can see. I could be eliminated by now, but I want you guys to see what's going on. I don't wanna, like they're landing in the decoys right now. This is crazy. I wanna pull the trigger bad, but I want you guys to see when I'm pulling the trigger. So we'll give it, we'll give it a few more minutes. All right, I'm gonna get on the board here. I think I missed him on my first shot. My pattern is so tight. Shooting a modified choke. These birds are finishing close. On the board with two. Just like that. I think I'm pulling my drip cord with me. Couple of teal. It's a little foggy, guys. Well, we're on the board with two teal. Um, one's just landing in the spread right here. I'm gonna wait. A little while because I guarantee you the GoPros aren't picking up a whole lot. Kind of got that hazy cloud cover and it makes it difficult to pick stuff up. So we'll uh, wait a few minutes to pull the trigger again. But start the season. And uh, my pattern is way too tight for how close I'm finishing these birds. There's a nice group. What's up, buddy? 
It's hard to call and pull a jerk rig at the same time. I don't want to swat him. I'm going to be a little sporting about this today. Here we go. Here we go. Squirt. Got him. All right, there's number three. These guys might come play. So we got three blue wings so far. And uh, there's a lot of birds flying around. This is fun. This is really fun. The only thing is, they're finishing so close. My pattern is so tight. Like, I've got such a narrow window to hit them. So, I can either move decoys or scoot back a little bit. Or just shoot them out a little farther. Which, that's probably what I'll end up doing. Welcome back, duck season. First green wing of the year. So we're up to uh, four blue wings and one green wing. Good day, good, good day. I'm trying to get a good decoying shot on them. I mean, I could have water swatted a bunch of teal today, but I figured might as well have some fun while I'm out here instead of just killing and try and make a little bit of a sport out of it. But I'm happy with how today's, here we go, we got. They just plop down so fast. There's two deal teal sitting in the decoys. Now I'm at the point, do I just shoot the teal and limit out? Or do I wait for another passing decoying shot? That's the question. It's been good so far. I've had fun. Taking a little different approach this year. And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of glad with how I've taken today's hunt a little slower. I, I could have limited out so fast this morning, but, um, whoa, big ducks. Pintails. That's cool. I've got a feeling we'll, we'll get, we'll get our teal for sure. Son of a gun. They're so fast, man. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Well, we limited out on the opening day of teal season, and uh, that was a fun little hunt. There was tons of birds at first light. Uh, I was just, I decided to take this hunt a little bit different than I normally do. Like, opening day, normally, I just try and pound as many birds as fast as I can, just limit out really fast. But today, I didn't see a point in doing that. I knew I was gonna get my six birds eventually if I just stuck it out long, and you know, it, it just seemed like a really good idea to do it. I'm happy that I challenged myself and tried to do something a little bit different and uh, shoot the birds as they're decoying instead of just swatting them on the water. There were so many times that I could have swatted birds that I didn't and that's okay. I don't care. I, mean, I, I challenged myself. I went through a lot of shells, but that's just kind of how the game goes. So all in all, that was a fun hunt and a great way to kick off the season. How'd you guys do? Awesome. Limit. What was about an hour and 15 minutes? Hour 40. I have no concept of time. 
hour for We were pretty pretty much going one person at a time. But it was a lot of singles and small groups of three or four. So, limits all around. Good spot to be. Now we gotta get our scout on to find a, another spot for tomorrow. I mean, we could honestly probably come back in here and hunt this again tomorrow, but it'd be kind of fun to find another place. I'd like to get on a kayak hunt. That, that'd be uh, top of my list. So, we'll see what we can find. The walkout is always so much fun. I've got everything tucked on this elite bag and seems to be working okay. Got the marsh chair hanging on the mojo poles and got the decoy strap to the backpack strap. So, able to walk in pretty easily. Uh, it's a really neat area out here. I've never hunted this before other than one time. Um, but that was just kind of an Elliot dropped me off. This was at the collab, so. That's how it goes. I've got a back cramp going on. <laughs> yeah, but for this, this is a really neat area and I'm glad I took a chance to come out and take a look at this and hunt with Elliot. I wanted to get a solo hunt in and just kind of experience it all by myself. It's kind of special to me. Uh, I've grown to love solo hunts and uh, that's what I wanted to do today. So yeah. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I think, uh, there's plenty of teal still around, so we'd have a pretty good chance of shooting some more birds. We just gotta find them. So we'll just have to see what we see and go from there. And that is a wrap for opening day of teal season. It was a fun little hunt. There was a lot of birds going around. It could have been a lot quicker if I had just water swatted a bunch of teal, but I wanted to turn this from, you know, just a bunch of killing into an actual hunt. And there's so many birds around, I was able to do that. Now, a couple of things I want to talk about. One is my shooting. My shooting was pretty bad in this hunt. And I think a lot of it comes down to, I was decoying the birds super close. So I should have put my decoys out farther. And I also had a modified choke in, which might not have been the best option for how close those birds were. I would have probably done a lot better with a cylinder or an improved cylinder choke. But, you know, nothing I could do to change that. That's the only choke I brought on the trip. I switched up my gun cases and my chokes are still in the old one, so I couldn't have changed it if I wanted to. Now, another thing is I used some new equipment and I've got a piece of equipment that I use today that I am absolutely in love with. And I can't believe I've hunted for so long without one. And that's a marsh stool. Now this is my new Rogers marsh stool and uh, they're all pretty similar, but I've never hunted with one of these things before. And I'm so happy I picked this thing up. It's got a little point and spread out the little wings here. And it sits right in the mud and you got a chair and it can adjust up and down depending on the height. I can't believe I've never owned one of these before. And I'm, I'm very impressed with how this thing performed. And I plan on using it in the future, hopefully. So that was opening day. I have another hunt coming for you later this week. It's day two of teal season, so be sure to tune in for that one. If you guys haven't already entered in the giveaway, be sure to do that. And also follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. If you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. And I will catch you guys on the next video.